So I actually played Baldur's Gate and it was very good. Now I recognize most of the characters in Baldur's Gate and it makes sense to me why the prices are going up because they're actually main characters in the story and you can like, you know, be in a relationship with them and so on. So yeah, these are already $29.99 mystery boxes. I have my next order. I should get them in the box. That's I asked them to do it in the box and uh, this time it was too late. They took them out. If you ever want to know how a mystery box works, they put packs into it, blisters in this case. They put loose packs into it, which are selling for cheaper than blisters. Blisters always sell for more. This is just kind of the nature of the game, right? And the loose packs are then sold off and they're then sold off from the distribution warehouse. And somebody like myself or a local game store or somebody with a contract with Walmart would then buy them. And that's what happens to the mystery packs after, you know, not every mystery box will sell. Now they do have Walmart tabs on them. So you will be arrested if you steal mystery. And in case you want to know, yes, the mystery boxes do not steal them. They have multiple tags on the booster packs. From my experience, they have multiple types of tags as well. So, okay, here we go. Cliff Gate. Yes. Marble Diamond. Yes. Your temple is under attack. Sea Hag. Bard. Okay, that's it. We just got one gate. Deadly, oh, Deadly Dispute. This card's worth a shit ton of money, guys. For a common. That's a good one. Oh, this is a good one. I've seen her. Uh, so, like, in the game, you just kind of, like, if she's your wife, or you just kind of got to do, like, dumb stuff all the time in the game. So now I can actually talk about the characters in the game. Uh, she's one of the original characters that you start off with. And, yeah, she has, like, terrible ideas. Oh, wait. So uh, that was a really weird pack. This was, oh, this was the commander. Kind of a weird pack. All right. Um, so, okay, that was not a flip card. Oh, it's very dark. Look at the printing on that card. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, maybe a little darker. But yeah, this is actually one of the main characters that is your friend. So pretty good pack, I think. Uh, that card has definitely gone up from like 15 cents to a little bit of money. Jumpstart. I am loving Jumpstart. I don't know why it's in such a big container, but who knows? You know, I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's in, 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 it's in the plastic wrap as well. Heavily armored. That means we can get, no, we don't have the angel one. We don't get the angel. Heavily armored. No idea. I think this might be newish. Oh, shit. It's, we got the, oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened here? We got whenever one or more creatures attack, you may have target attacking creature gain double strike. Uh, Sentinels. Um, not the best. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure none of these are worth any money. Oh, this is a good card. I used to play this card all the time in draft. All right, let's 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 hope for a dragon or something to break even with because I think this has gone pretty awful. My last opening went very terrible. I'm, uh, we're gonna have to go in a binder and see how much money I made or lost or made, hopefully made. Decanter, all right, I'll take Decanter, that's a good card. Ballist Gate, I'll take that. Okay, that's all we got, but we, maybe we got Deadly Dispute. Nope, no Deadly Dispute, Ranger. This card used to be so much money back in the day. Or feel. I don't remember him in the game. Oh, Ballist Caller. That's a good one. Modify memory. Oh, Ballist call Caller. That's a good one. Rafael. I remember, like, is he the devil that you meet and then he's trying to, like, it's like Rafael, the fiendish savior. No, I don't remember him. All right, let's open and let's, let's hit a Sheedred for one time. One time for the one time, Sheedred. And then, oh, no, no set. No set extra card. No special land. It's looking pretty bad. Twinferno. Uh, uh, Tori. I thought this card was really good, but then it was not. Oh, okay. Stronghold Arena. I, I misread it for the reprint. It's not as good. 
You gain free life for each time it was kicked. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage player, you may review a top card library and put in your hand. If you do, lose. Okay, so basically, it's a uh, dark confidant. Interesting. Okay, there's a different security tab. No big hits, but still. Oh, this is a, no, it's a draft. Oh, I thought it was an extra hit. Vampire. We still don't have the little puppy that's worth like a dollar. I'll know it when I see it type of thing. Okay. Oh, oh, I have this card already. It's just like a different version. Oh. Ooh, wow, okay, not bad, not bad, not, that's not bad at all. Wow, okay. That was not bad for a draft pack. Man, free hits in draft pack. Of course, the foil hit. Of course, it's probably all worth like 10 cents a piece. All right, set, we might have a, that's a pretty card. Extravagant Replication. Yeah, that's a nice card. I don't know why the art cards are worthless, but I guess it's a player's game. It's not really a collector's game. Oh, we don't have the uh, we don't have the card that I need. Yes, thank God. Oh, thousand. Thank God we, we hit a card that's worth more than five bucks. Oh man, but even at my cost, so I pay eighteen dollars for a twenty dollar mystery box, right? Even at my cost to get it to retail was like impossibly hard. I found out that opening magic cards, you're gonna lose a lot of money. I've done this experiment many times, but yeah, it is not great when it comes to opening magic cards, but like sometimes you do get hits. I think I did the calculations last time. It was quite interesting. I'm gonna do the calculations this time as well. I have a better understand. Yeah, the calculations last time. This is the calculations last time. Boop. So six packs, I got thirteen dollars out of eighteen. Then the second one, I only got seven dollars. So it's a better. I think it's a better start. That cards are at least like eight dollars retail. And this is Card Kingdom retail, by the way. So this is uh, six packs, six packs, six packs. This one's really good. There was a sixteen dollar card here. Six packs that was break even. This one's really really good. 45, there was an $18 card here. And this was only $18. I paid $18 cash to get this much retail. So at the end of the day, I basically broke even, I think, because it was six times eight. Oh, I said it was 19. So 114, I got $139 of cards. So, mm, so I'm paying 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Same idea, actually, yeah. So, no, they actually cost $19. Okay, that's why I have 19 here. 19 times six is 114. So that is for all this week is what I'm, my break even is.